Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren and her husband Timothy Granison pleaded not guilty to weapons and child endangerment charges today. The two appeared in Monroe County Court this morning for an arraignment after new charges were unsealed on Friday. Warren and Granison are facing charges of criminal possession of a firearm, two counts of endangering the welfare of a child, and two counts of failure to lock and secure firearms in a dwelling. Ellie Peters was in court today for the arraignment. She joins us live with more. Ellie? Yeah, John, this is the second time in less than a year that Mayor Lovely Warren has been arraigned on at least one felony. Now, she and her husband, Timothy Granison, did appear in court this morning where they pleaded not guilty to all the charges against them. A judge did release them on their own recognizance. Now, these new charges stem from a search warrant conducted at the pair's home in May. Law enforcement officials say this was part of a months long drug ring investigation and that they found a pistol and rifle during the search. Officials say warning Granison's 10 year old daughter was home alone at the time of the raid. That's where the child endangerment charge and failure to lock and secure firearms comes in. Today, Granison's attorney said the firearm was legal and registered to a party that often was in the home. The maximum penalty for the felony weapon charge is between one and a third to four years in the Department of Corrections. For the child endangerment charge, the pair could face up to a year in county jail or could be placed on probation. Warren's attorney spoke to media today and he said he doesn't believe these charges should have been brought against her. I can tell you that my client's not a drug dealer. She's not a criminal. Uh, the evidence and the facts of this case will come out at the trials of both of these matters. Uh, they know my client's not a drug dealer. They know she's not a person who possesses, possesses weapons. They know who the weapons belong to and who owns these weapons. Uh, we're treating uh, Mayor Warren like we would any other individual. Um, you know, we're not giving her any special treatment, but at the same time, we're not going to uh, hold that fact against her. I mean, the reality of the situation, given our review of the case and um, examination of the evidence, that uh, we would charge anybody in her position uh, with these charges. Now, Mayor Warren has said she and Timothy Granison do have a separation agreement, and she said multiple times to media she has done nothing wrong. Now, today, Warren and Granison did arrive separately to court and did not appear to, to speak with one another. It's not clear when they'll be back in court. Live in Rochester, Allie Peters, News 8. All right, Ellie, thank you. The mayor was previously indicted on campaign finance violations. Granison was recently arrested on drugs and weapons charges for a drug bust.